I am the Supreme Voice, and this message is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Libra, like my video, please. It puts me in the algorithm. It gives me the ability to put the messages out to confirm what others are going through. Channel messages and information for you. First card came out, five of swords. There's something significant in your in, your energy regarding um, needing to say something to someone in your family about how you really feel. You don't have to be um, you don't have to be aggressive in this nature. You can simply make a statement and get your point across. And even if this person rejects it, just get it off your chest. Say what you have to say. I'm picking up on the number three there may be three things you need to say to somebody this is somebody who loves you and you love them you may not feel loved by them but they do love you everyone's love feels different but there is something that you simply need to say to get off your chest wow hmm. all of a sudden my throat gets dry yeah you're you're having a hard time um Saying this is somebody, but it needs to be said. It needs to be said, okay? Words in your energy, the word excellence. Um, uh, um, excellence, gassiness, gassiness in regards to like filling the gas all over the body, in the back, in the chest, in the shoulders. I also picked up on um, like lungs kidneys blood i'm not a doctor uh, but the things that i'm stating could be pre-existing conditions also the word classes slash racist okay there's a fine line between the two of them one of them is people who feel like you're not good enough to be around them because they belong to a certain type of class you know um that energy was some real narc ass energy I picked up. Somebody in your uh, recent past who you passed all the marks as far as far as looks, as far as just a lot of really beautiful things about yourself, but they judged you based upon your educational level. Okay, um, picking up someone that may even talk kind of country. You know, you might have like a little country swag to yourself. You might say things talk fast or whatever but somebody made the decision about how they felt about you based on classism okay i think both of them ugly classism and racism okay um numbers that are significant to you are one two three one two four and twelve twelve excellence excellence you're excellent in fact, your excellence is so, so brilliant that you have a friend. Even if you're a masculine, it's your homeboy. If you're a feminine, it's your homegirl, okay? Someone feels like you should not get the attention that you get. Someone looks at the way you are and they're like, so? But they're not getting that attention. They pay attention to your social media. They are looking at your likes. They're looking at your views. They're looking at things and they're comparing it to what they have. You talk to this person, this person acts very vague towards you. They kind of will be very, they'll like, they'll re send you a message. And if you send them a message back, they'll take a long time to respond. Like they have a way that they deal with you. Fucking weirdos. Okay. Uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you very much. Okay, that was the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Empress. Some conflict that you're coming out of that puts you into the Empress energy. Some of you are going through some crown chakra activations. You may have maybe noticing some itchiness of the scalp. I also picked up on some Libra, some Moon Rising, North Nodes, females going through some hormonal type of issues. Let's see, Narc Narc, who's there? That's what I really channeled for, and it might be the title of this message. Narc Narc, who's there? Why is that person in her in his or her energy the liar? 
I said, narc, narc, who's there? A liar. A narc that's a liar. This person's also very sloppy. You're going to know who this person is because they feel very, very um, entitled to how nasty they are as a person. Like, they literally feel like it is okay for them to talk the kind of shit that they talk. Ooh, what is backfired on the narc? Something coming in slowly. What's backfiring on that narc? What? The fact that you're no longer broken hearted. You're confident. You're an interest energy. And they don't understand it. I actually, before I started getting into your energy, two things I want to say. I keep hearing the song Pleasure Principle, which takes me into... Um, Either yourself, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, or somebody in your energy has some unorthodox sexual ways about themselves. Meaning that, like, they don't just, like, you know, get an erection or the female don't just lay down and just have sex or whatever. Like, there are some things that need to be done in order for this person to get to where they need to get mentally in order for them to climax. Number two, I was on my way to the kitchen to get the lighter to burn some um, Palo Santo. And I kept saying, I was on my way to do the reading. I kept saying, if they would just love themselves, nothing can stop self-love. Whoever this narc was, they're probably in disbelief or they don't understand how come you're not so broken hearted. You've healed from whatever you're confident. Or who is this Queen of Wands? Who's this Queen of Wands? Who's this Queen of Wands? Two cards. The Five of Wands. Oh, three cards. My bad. The Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. You're embodying two different, two of the two cards. You're embodying a Queen of Wands. You're confident as well. The Empress is pretty confident. Highest in the deck. And you're definitely not mentally bound. You came out of a conflict. The number 16 could be significant to you. Six of Pentacles. Giving. A blessing. Someone giving you something. Ugh. You're about to be blessed with something. Someone's about to give you something. A king of swords. Why is this king of swords out here? When I see the king of swords, the first thing I think about is bitterness. <laughs> um, someone sees you. And then we have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're about to receive a blessing. There's getting ready to be some news coming to you about a blessing and it's going to be an increase in money. I picked up on the energy of a Libra Sun Moon Rising North Node where things have been a little bit eggshells for you. Okay, living situation, money, health insurance. There's something that has been troubling you in regards to finances. This could also be a job that is offering health care insurance as well. And I mentioned those pre-existing conditions earlier. Who's this King of Swords? We got this Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. A death card. A death card about what in this King of Swords? Oh, okay. Yeah, you released yourself from... This particular person is King of Swords. Oh, okay. That's the backfire right there. You walked away peacefully from this person. You didn't cause any problems. If you're feeling like you may have done something wrong to someone and you're trying to figure out what happened, why did they choose this? Why did they act this way to me? Please understand that whoever this person was, was projecting upon you. You're also a go-getter. 
Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. They can't take a chance. This person is not there. They don't have the ability to come towards you. But they want to, and they're going to. Narc, narc, who's there? They want to say something. They're trying to build up the strength to say something because they're going through a karmic cycle right now. Yeah, that's an ex. Something happened in the relationship that this person is in a relationship or married. And they want to say something to you. You're in recovery. I said that you came out of something. That was in the beginning of the reading. But yet they felt some type of way and chose. <laughs> this is like on this sideways position. They chose somebody else. They chose somebody else over you. If this king of this this person, they're they were in a relationship, but they enjoy third parties. It makes them feel good to have multiple counterparts. And they've got some unorthodox sexual needs that um, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You probably tolerate it. What I see is somebody requesting somebody to be in like certain positions. Like in order for this person to like get off. It's something about the way that they need to get off. And it requires extra. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. What about the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? We're getting ready to end the reading soon. Oh, you were divinely guided to walk away from this. Yeah. I don't know the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm not too sure. I'm being honest. You... Libra, Sun, Moon, unhappy. Why is the Sun card and the Five of Cups here with the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck? The Sun card and the Five of Cups are both in reverse. They didn't want you to leave because you satisfied their sexual pleasures. Somebody out there knows who I'm talking about or they know. Or this is you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Knight of Wands. Mm-hmm. Someone has some unorthodox sexual pleasures. Someone also got sick because of um, the unorthodox sexual favors that they involve themselves into. Someone got sick because of it those cards i don't know if they, they they dropped and i'm not sure if they were in the upright or the reverse but someone got sick because of unorthodox sexual pleasures and i'm not talking about stds like i'm gonna be honest with you what i just picked up is i just picked up tossing salad we've got the magician and the ace of swords and the king of cups and a page of wands. All at the bottom of the deck and I'm gonna conclude with the reading. You smartened up, you wisened up. You figured out that this was not love. Someone's had a change of mind. This empress has had a change of mind about sexual desires in satisfying someone's needs. It's no longer a priority for you. Or if you are this person, someone feels like 
they walked away from you because they are no longer into you at all. And they walked away from you also because they felt like there was somebody else that was a better match for them. But it, when they chose this person, this person did not do the things that you did for them in bed. I am the Supreme Voice. Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it, Libra, Sun, and Rising North Node. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.